my beautiful Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. We have a lot to discuss, Aquarius. I was doing your meditation, and I saw that someone was falling off of this very comfy, cushiony pillow into uh, this bed of darkness, and it feels like some of you might have felt like you've fallen off of a pedestal here. Uh, in someone's eyes and are feeling very lost and confused. Uh, the garden and the gate, the world card. So someone's world is completely different than it was. There's an uncomfortability factor with so much uncertainty going on. Uh, will love prevail or will things get better? This is feeling lost in a situation, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. I feel you even though we are apart, I want you. Yeah, somebody's definitely thinking hard about you here. Also about the situation. There's an intensity I'm feeling on your guys' end. Uh, you're going through a lot right now. Overall energy, king of wands. This is about taking action, also following goals, achieving them as well, but focus. Okay, so doing things and being proactive about conflict as well as what I'm kind of picking up here. So let's see what's going on in your energy. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the Strength card. Yeah, you guys are going through a lot of... Uh, changes here emotionally also uh, you know trying to heal your wounds get over some heartbreak but I see that you guys feel like you know you did have this fall from grace in someone's eyes that suddenly you felt like you were on a pedestal with them and they quickly took you off like an unexpected twist here has happened to where you feel like you don't have a choice here you're kind of on the outs but the love is still there the connection is very strong but you feel like they're nowhere to be found uh nine of wands four of wands suddenly things shifted and you feel like you had to protect yourself as well but you're kind of looking around you and noticing nothing feels the same nothing feels safe like it did uh, it's almost like you felt like in this person's eyes you were viewed as something truly special. And some of you do feel discarded by them instantly. Okay, when uh, everything hit the fan here, it's kind of like you felt like they chose something else or sacrificed you or this relationship in a sense. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Devil card for their energy. So they feel like their world has turned upside down as well. Almost this mirroring energy, feeling chaotic as well, not knowing what to do, very unsure of the choices that they have before them. But there's a craving here, a craving to uh, reach out, to contact you. Some of them want to just hear your voice. This is that feeling of wanting to see your face again or hear you. Uh, it's something that they miss, and I see in the Knight of Swords, uh, something needs to be done. They're feeling restless. Tell me the Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. Two of Cups and the Hermit. And this person is definitely wanting to seek resolution here, okay? Get to the bottom of things, but they realize there's something that they did say that uh, they wish they could take back, or they weren't thinking in the moment here. Almost like uh, they made a sudden decision that they wish they wouldn't have made. Tell me the Page of Wands. I think you guys had something like this for a little while here. Uh, Hierophant and the Star card. But it's getting more intense is what I see. Okay, the universe is stepping in. Uh, reaching out to this person. I see that this person can be very stubborn or stuck in their ways. And they look at things in a very traditional sense or um, a literal sense. So they don't really believe in the spiritual sense of things. And I see that uh, things are starting to change right in front of their eyes. They're getting signs here about what's going on and starting to see that this connection is not just in the physical realm, that it is definitely spiritual. Tell the devil. Ace of Swords. They are worried that and anxious here that they want to get their point across or there's some truth that needs to be exposed here 
Devil Ace of Swords. They feel like they need to tell their side of the story. Uh, Tell with the Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there is an impulsiveness here. This person is definitely feeling very restless here over you. So let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Nine of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So I do see that this person made a lot of decisions based on their fears or doubts about themselves. They don't really feel comfortable opening up. Uh, they don't like to be vulnerable as well. And they feared that in the long run here, some way, somehow, they would end up losing you. Uh, due to some outside circumstances. So however it pertains to your story, can be a third party here, but they were just waiting for the ball to drop, feeling like they weren't going to be able to have what they desire here with you. Uh, tell with the Nine of Swords. The Fool card. So they started to shift in a direction where you felt like no matter if they were busy or they had time uh, that they were focusing on themselves, you were patient, but you were also concerned during the process because they weren't opening up. They weren't really talking to you as much and they started to detach more and more, um, make some risky decisions here, just feeling like you will always be around or they won't have to worry about you leaving. Almost like performance punishments, okay? I do see some of you, if you are dealing with a Leo, for quite a while here, you've been dealing with someone that puts a lot of performance punishment on you. Although you could have it in your chart. Also, I want to say I see a Gemini here, a Cancer as well. And for some of you, a uh, Scorpio or Virgo, okay? It can be in your chart though. But what I really see is them scared to follow their heart and end up not really having what they desire or their heart getting broken here. Uh, and for a lot of you, this is another environment going on or they're giving into two things here. Uh, tell me the King of Cups. This feels like a very deep love uh, that's kind of been silenced and both of you have been pulled away from each other in a sense. Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the logical thing to do was to play around, to be able to do what they needed to do uh, in their situation. So just focusing on things temporarily, not giving too much into one thing, but kind of spreading their energy thin. And that means that they were hot and cold in this situation as well. Or you weren't really counting on when they were returning at times. So let's see the challenge. Let's get some more details here. Because I see that there's been a lot of pain and suffering and stress on your end. Okay, you're going through a difficult time where you feel really uncertain about what, what the future holds or what's going to happen. And it's feeling a little scary, but I do see that the universe is using this time of separation here for you to start to understand things. Not only about the situation, but about yourself. It is a period of evolution for you. Okay, Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, World, Empress, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you felt like there was so much distance here, but there is unfinished business. Uh, things are not over. Something needs to be addressed. Okay, there's a lot of conflict kind of built up behind the scenes that has not been addressed or not been able to be talked about or fixed. And it just feels like this nervous ball of energy stuck in the middle of you guys and uh, nothing's really happening or moving. And I see this person really stuck in their energy going, should I or shouldn't I? Should I return? Should I not? Should I reach out? What should I do? I don't know what to do. Uh, every option just looks like not a good option. And Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, this person's not seeing very clearly due to their fear and doubts that things can be fixed very easily. Page of Pentacles. They didn't see something, some kind of twist here. Uh, that's happened on purpose. So it looks like it's from your end, a misstep or uh, some kind of little mistake or misunderstanding that was made. Maybe you missed a call. Maybe you missed something here where you felt like, uh, you know, everything was changing all of a sudden and you couldn't fix it. Uh, so it could have turned into something bigger. I think we had something like that, uh, for the uh, May reading, I'm sorry. Seven of Cups Worlds. 
Yes, a lot of confusion in the situation uh, due to somebody just fearing being vulnerable and not willing to put in the effort, choosing other things over this connection. And with the Empress King of Pentacles, there can be a third party. There is a feminine energy showing up where it feels like they have a hold of this person and they're very unhappy about it because this isn't a challenge. Uh, this person feels like they have no way to move at all and keeps them under lock and key. And it really feels like frustrating on their end. Like they have to focus on something that they don't really like or care about. Tell them the King of Pentacles. For others of you, if it's not, this is business related or finances here where that's the main focus. And other personal relationships fall to the wayside due to them just trying to get ahead, trying to be successful and not really seeing that what counts is the interpersonal relationships you have and the people that mean the most to you and needing to give more time and energy into that here. Three of Wands. Yes, you always waiting for the answers or waiting for this person to choose you, to choose you as a priority as well. I see just a lot of focus on other things, but something suddenly shifted here where you felt like they chose to sacrifice you in a way or sacrifice this connection. And uh, you feel like you've had this, you know, blackout. All of a sudden you've fallen from uh, what you thought they were feeling about you to now feeling like it didn't exist or that you don't mean anything to them. And there is a lot of stress and despair from this here. So we have the Chariot, Sun, Eight of Cups, and the Temperance card for what they're about to do. There's something headed your way that is an unexpected twist of fate here as this cycle ends where you're no longer going to feel lost in the situation. So things are turning in your favor. And if this reading is resonating with you, join me in the extended. We're going to go over exactly what action this is what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.